This is Miss Long. I wanted to make a quick video, especially for our new families, in order to help you get a little more familiar with how to use Alva, um, how to look at your course page and figure out what sessions you should attend for the day, as well as what lessons you should do. Now, when you log into the student account, you're going to see a screen very similar to this. There's going to be a large image that you can personalize, but there's also going to be three tabs. One says My Schedule, Classes, and Announcements. I always like to start the day by checking my schedule because it tells me what um, events I have for the day. Those are assigned for a certain time, so it tells me what events I need to attend or what class sessions I have, but it also shows me some assignments and some due dates. Now these assignments are not always comprehensive, so sometimes there may be some things that you can work on um, in the course that do not appear on this list. So I always recommend using the course plan to figure out what um, lessons you should be looking over. That way you don't miss anything. And you can filter this by week. So if you'd like to see what your week looks like as far as classes go, you can do that as well. Now the next tab is going to be classes. And this is the one that I like to use because you can view each of your courses that you are enrolled in. And you can select the one that you're going to work in. So, for example, if I feel like if I know that I'm going to work in my history class on my daily history lesson, then I'm going to hit history. And you see here on um, the history page does pull up. It gives me a view of my, my current grade and my progress in class. And it also gives me a view of the class content. Now, the recordings, this is the tab that I'm going to go to if I ever want to rewatch a class session. So, if I wanted to rewatch watch a class session, um, in which we went over 3.01. Then I can scroll down and I can find the lesson that says 3.01 and 3.02, and I can hit that little tab to watch the class recording. So that's how you view your class recordings for the day. All right, going back to home, another thing that another feature that we can look at, um, we can look at the course materials, but also we can look at the content. So content is where you're going to find your daily lessons. If I want to know what daily lesson to complete, I can go to the plan. Now if I click on the plan, then all I need to do is filter my calendar. And I can change this to month. I like to change mine to month. But I can filter my calendar to tell me exactly what lesson I should be working on for that day. Just give it one second, and here we go. So all of my classes are listed, and that might be confusing to look at, so I like to do it one at a time. So for example, if I wanted to know what to work on in my history class, then I'm going to scroll on down to history and select it. And you see here it tells me in history the assignments that I have for the entire month of August. So for example, today is the 22nd. I know that if I go to 2.06, then this is the assignment that I should be doing. And it also has a assignment that is due, and it tells me the due date. Now, if I need to go ahead and find this lesson, then I could also access it on the content. So again, that was lesson 2.06. I could go to the content tab, which pulls up all of the available lessons. And all I need to do is find unit two and lesson 06. And then here are all of the things that I need to do. I need to make sure I complete all of the required topics in order to get that check mark. And I, that I'm submitting all of the information that I need to submit. So that is how you use the class plan to access the content. And you can also access grades from this portal. And you can access the feedback that your teachers leave you on assignments. Um, but like I said, it's very important that you do follow the plan in each class. Do the daily assignments and the daily lessons in order to prepare for the quizzes and for the tests. And if you ever need our help, guys, just email us or call us. Let us know. So thanks.